<laughs> Are you sick of that yet? You're either a headache person or a tummy ache person. But has that ever stopped us before? No! Hi, welcome back. I'm Andy. If you don't know, I'm turning a bus into a house, and if you knew that, then you already knew that. Will I ever consistently remember to do that intro? No, probably not. In this video, we are going to be working on the headboard. This is a little different from how I normally do videos. Usually I'll just take you through a whole week with me, but the reason I decided to do it this way this week is because I think this is gonna be a fucking disaster. First things first though, friends. We have to go to Menards. <laughs> Are you sick of that yet? I would be. <laughs> okay, y'all. Oh wait, that's my sister's van that she's renovating. Isn't it so cute? Okay, anyways, what was I saying? Right, I've done so much work on the bus in the past few days. I haven't been filming and I cannot wait to get home and show you and just do like a quick tour of all the things that you've missed. I have to make myself go to Menards first though, otherwise I'm really not gonna wanna do it. I am not looking forward to using power tools today. I have a hot girl headache. There's only two kinds of people. You're either a headache person or a tummy ache person. And I am a headache person. As promised, let me walk you through what I've been working on the past couple of days. I made several cubbies to hide all of these ugly wires that are all over the bus. I had to put one in the living space above where Kenny's desk is gonna be. There's one going down the hallway and there's one in the bedroom. I think these make things look so much better. The next thing is the power system. It's not all tidied up quite yet. As you can see, we've got a fuse box for the 120 volt power, got the DC to DC charger here, batteries there, inverters hooked up obviously. We also have shore power. Big shout out to Kenny, who was obviously the brains behind this operation because obviously it wasn't me. And lastly, all of the window trim is done. Yes, thank you, thank you, I know. Real quick, before we get started, I wanna show you where the headboard is gonna go. I have no idea how we're gonna get the headboard in here when it's constructed, but not knowing what I'm doing has never stopped me before. So what I'm thinking is, we should just build the box and try to attach the legs to the box while it's in its position in the bus. I think if I put the legs on out here, I don't think it's gonna fit. I don't see how I could get it to like, turn and slide into the spot. I don't think that's possible because the ceiling is too low. Yeah, we're gonna assemble it in the bus, I think, after I get the box built. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Okay, so I have one piece of wood that's really scratched up. I wasn't really sure what to do with it, but I've decided I'm gonna use that on the bottom of the headboard, so you'll never notice it. Cause it looks like a kid got loose and just started like carving stuff into it. I don't know, it looks really bad, but I'm never gonna see it again, so it's fine. Well, I was cutting this wood uh, and then it split right down the middle from end to end. Um, so I guess I have to go back to town and get more wood. To say I'm disappointed uh, would be an understatement. I was on track to get this done today and now that's not gonna happen, so I'm sad. <laughs> I really hope I can get this headboard done today because I just realized if I get it done today, that means the bedroom is done. Well, except for the painting, but you know, it's done. If this splits, I will perish. The lighting is bad. Oh, that's even worse. Where do I go? What do I do? What do I do? Where do I go? Okay, now I'm backlit. Help! Help! I couldn't really figure out the lighting, so this is what you're gonna get. It's time to assemble. I'm not nervous. You're nervous. Not me. Okay, so this is the bottom. Seems like a good place to start. I know I'm supposed to use clamps to help the adhesive set, but the thing about that is, is that I am terrible at using those, and when I do, it makes it worse. So, I'm gonna let it set up a little bit, and then I'm gonna nail it so it stays in place, and, um, I know that's wrong. I know it's wrong. I know. I'm gonna do it anyway. So. I know that if a carpenter could see this, they would probably be mortified, but for me, I'm gonna say so far so good. This thing is looking pretty freaking cool if you ask me. 
All I have to do now to make this box technically complete is put the hinges on it. The real challenge is gonna come when I try to figure out how to secure the legs to it while it's in place. I think that's gonna be the real problem. <laughs> Here's what I'm thinking. I've cut five legs that I've put pocket holes into. I think I'm gonna secure these into the ground under where the headboard is supposed to go. And then I'm just gonna plop the headboard down on top of it and cross my fingers that this is gonna work. I'm sure there's a better way to do this, but for the life of me, I cannot think of another solution that I think is gonna work, and I really, really wanna get this done, and I think this will work. It just might be a little bit risky. But has that ever stopped us before? No! I really hate getting in the garage. It's getting a little bit full. So the legs need to go in the back corner because the headboard is gonna come down like in front of those windows there. Now that these are all secured, I guess I'm gonna go to the top and drop the headboard thing down and hopefully this does not all blow up in my face. <laughs> this angle might be kind of trash, sorry, you're mounted to the bed. I'm gonna go ahead and try to drop this thing down and um, I got nothing to say except let's do it. No. I've recruited Kenny, he's underneath me trying to make sure this doesn't all get destroyed. Can you see me? Can you see my hand? One, yep, yep. two, three. Ow, my fingers! Are you okay? It doesn't open! <laughs> Let me die! Are you serious? It doesn't open? No. Okay, so I'm sure no one is surprised that I've miscalculated and it's right up against the window frame, so it doesn't open. What do I do? What do I do? I'm done panicking, and now that I'm done, we've decided that we're gonna just put the hinges on the inside and that should give it enough grace to open. Hopefully that's true and I didn't just make it up. All the hinges are in the inside now, so hopefully this works. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to do a proper solution, which I'm not a fan of. The headboard is secured, so let me give you a little tour. The way that I secured this was that I just screwed it into those support legs at the bottom, and with the hinges inside, it opens just fine. So, um, my mistake ended up being totally fine if you don't count wasted time. And just like that, the bedroom is done. So that was the last major construction thing that needed to be done in the bedroom and it's done. This is a huge relief. I was kind of dreading this project and it was pretty physically uncomfortable to work on top of the bed and do all this, but I'm just glad it's behind me. And now I can say that the bedroom work is over, which is, you know what I mean? So anyway, <laughs> thank you so much for watching. I will see you next week. Love you, bye.